a short stroll from Newham Hospital, and this traffic junction in East London became the scene for one of the worst cases of unjustified police violence in recent years. What happened here on this waste ground in May 2019, two years ago, was captured on CCTV and police officers' body-worn video. But that footage has never been shown beyond the confines of the Metropolitan Police and the Independent Office for Police Conduct. But it served as crucial evidence last week in the gross misconduct case against one officer which was held in private. The victim's relative, who attended the hearing, describes the footage as horrific. We have agreed to protect her identity for the welfare of the victim herself, known as XAB. Yes, we see it on TV and we've seen it in the news and we see it a lot in America. But I, I would never thought that I would be sitting here having to talk about a member of my family um, being subjected to such force and brutality from the police. The black female victim was just 17 with learning difficulties. She ran off from an escorted walk, distressed, and flagged down a police car at this junction. Yet she was then subjected to being CS sprayed and beaten with a police baton at a rate of one strike every two seconds for at least a minute, as she tells officers she needs help and she has mental health problems. First thing she said was, I'm a mental health patient. I'm vulnerable, that those were her words. The male officer started to talk to her aggressively and telling her, you need to calm down, you need to calm down, and started going through his handcuffs. And as soon as Miss XAB saw the handcuffs, she was saying, well, um, you're going to hurt me, you're going to hurt me, I haven't done anything, I haven't done anything. She was just frightened. Miss XAB calmed down sufficiently for the female officer to walk off, and, and it was while she had gone off that uh, PC Kemp then resorted to getting and the baton came out. The baton came out, exactly. And what happened? He just kept striking her. He was striking her. He said he gave four, three to four strikes first to try and get her down to the back of the knee, to try and get her down. But obviously that didn't work. And then he just kept going. More than 30 strikes? More than 30 strikes. In the yeah. space of a minute. In the space of a minute? In the space of a minute. And had she done anything to provoke that? Absolutely nothing at all. Not a, not a crossword, not even a raised voice. What impact did this all have on her? Terrible impact. She's um, quite literally afraid of the police right now. Um, feels that everybody's out to hurt her. In fact, anybody in the uniform, so it's not, ju not just the police now, anybody in the uniform is, is out to hurt her and she can't understand why... As she said, she did nothing wrong. She did nothing wrong. No one argues that the welfare of the victim is paramount and her identity be protected. But equally, no one underestimates the potential impact if the footage is ever revealed in public. Her cousin believes what happened is not just about her family. The family have asked for it to remain um, out of the public, but if it wasn't for the fact that Miss XAB, her welfare and her mental state is my first and priority concern. I, I would, we would have said, this needs to be out there. People need to see this. This, this is, this is not the norm. This is not the norm. I don't really want to go with the George um, Floyd incident, but it's, it's along those lines. PC Benjamin Kemp was sacked last week. Unlike someone convicted of crimes, the Metropolitan Police did not issue a mugshot. There were no criminal charges in this case. His unjustified violence was described by the Met as an overreaction. I would say that there's a balance. It was unacceptable. I apologise from the, from the bottom of my heart. And, but I would say, is always remember, today your officers are out there serving the public in the way that's in line with their values and in line with the expectations of Londoners. But I'm not clear yet what the explanation is for PC Kemp's behaviour? I, I wasn't there. I haven't spoken to PC Kemp. You've seen the video? I've seen the video. I can give an opinion. I think he was confronted with a scene that he lost control very, very quickly. He had his 
equipment there. He used it inappropriately and disproportionately. I don't know why he reacted that way. The Met is now liaising with London's mental health trusts to learn lessons. But the case of XAB is far from over. The family are to ask for criminal charges to be reconsidered following the officer's dismissal. Why no criminal charges then? The family now want the CPS to review the case. We understand that the CPS did make a decision much earlier on at the conclusion of the IOPC investigation and they concluded that no charges should be brought. The investigation by the Independent Office for Police Conduct found no evidence of racial bias or disability discrimination. The family is not so sure. They do not think, with the Met's record, this can be seen in isolation. And while the force has publicly apologised, nothing has been conveyed directly to the victim or her family.